In this video, I'm going to show you how to simulate the Lightroom HSL panel in Capture One. If you find this video or any of my videos useful, please like and subscribe. Okay, let's jump right in. A Lightroom style HSL panel. The first thing to do is to select our color tab like so. Then just make sure we have the advanced tab selected within the color editor and click the little plus sign here to create one of these. A color wheel. This complete color wheel allows you to alter the hue and saturation of all of your colors. Now all we're going to do now we have the color wheel is to press print screen to create a snapshot of the desktop including the color wheel. And then I'm going to open up Affinity Photo. Of course, you could use any editor you like, such as Paint or GIMP or even Photoshop. Though I think Paint.net is probably the best free one. Okay, then File and New from Clipboard, which creates a document of the screen grab that I created a second ago. Rasterize the screen. And then I'm just going to Grab the color wheel like so, then control C to copy, then file and new from clipboard again. And now I have an image of the capture one color wheel, which I can use as reference. Okay, so I'm just going to resize it to make it smoother. I think 1024 pixels will do, resize. Okay, that's fine. File and export and JPEG, export, and just call it wheel. Okay, so the color wheel is now saved, so I'll just exit Affinity Photo. Don't need to save. No, no. And here I am, back in Capture One. And now I have my color wheel. So I'm ready to get on with the next stage, which is to open up Lightroom. Okay, here we go. Just boot Lightroom like so. If you don't have Lightroom, you can get a demo. You can download a trial version to try this out. It does take a while longer than Capture One to run. The first thing to do in Lightroom is to add ourselves a new folder. So first of all, make sure we're in the library. Then click Folders and Add Folder. Then navigate to the folder where you exported the color wheel image and hit Choose Folder. Then once your images pop up, select your required images like so and hit import. Once your images are imported, just select the color wheel and hit develop. And now we have our color wheel in Lightroom. Okay, here's where the fun begins. Just move down to the HSL panel and choose saturation. And also using the menu bars I'm going to split the screen between Lightroom and Capture One as it will be much easier to perform the next stage. Just get rid of the Capture One library panel with Control B. Okay let's go over to Lightroom and make sure we have the saturation tab on screen. Okay that looks fine. Now over in Capture One make sure we have the advanced tab of the color editor on screen. Now back in Lightroom, go to the saturation tab and desaturate every single slider, all of the colors like so. So the whole of the color wheel becomes black and white. Next we need to be back in Capture One because we need to make sure we have our color picker selected like so. And now back to Lightroom. And first bring up the reds. And as you can see here, it's showing us how much color is being affected by the red slider. How much of a spread of color is being affected by the slider in Lightroom. And it'll do that with all the other colors as we go through them. Okay, so next we go to Capture One and making sure we have our color corrector picker, we select in Capture One the same color as is being shown in Lightroom. Here we go, let's select red. Hit this little icon to make sure we have the whole saturation range selected. And next is where the magic comes. All we do is hit the view selected color range icon. 
And all of a sudden we can see the selected color range in Capture One and also the color range in Lightroom. All that's left to do with this color is to use these little tags here to match the range up. Though actually I think the range on this red is a pretty good match. Maybe we could just increase the range on the magentas a tad. Just fiddle with it. I think that's about right. There we have it, I think that is a pretty good match. The reds are done, so go back to Lightroom, desaturate the reds and bring up the saturation on the orange. There's our orange range, so now just make sure our selector is active, view selected colour range off and pick our next colour. This time we want to pick orange. Select the orange, then full saturation range, then View selected colour range active, and there's the selection on both. I think we just want to reduce the yellow a tad. There we go, the selection range at the top of the orange looks pretty even. And looking at the reds, I think they're already close enough. So here we go, back to Lightroom, desaturate the oranges and saturate the yellows. There's our colour range for yellows. View selected colour range off. Pick yellows. Whole saturation range. And view colour range on. And here we can see that the range in Lightroom is far less than Capture One, so we have some work to do. Let's get them matching up. First of all, do the top one. Bring it down. I think that's about right. And then slowly bring the bottom one up until we get to the correct position. And I think with a little bit of tweaking, it's about there. OK, that's close enough for this demonstration. With a little more time, I think you could probably do a much more accurate job yourselves. OK, back to Lightroom, down with the yellows, up with the greens. Capture one, view selected colour range off, make sure picker's active, then select green. And once green selected, which is about there, then saturation range, view selected colour range on, and let's have a look. I think the top is fine, but the bottom needs to be extended a little bit. So just move the handle down a little. And I think that's about right. Yep, that's fine. That'll do. Okay, then onto the aqua. So down with the greens and up with the aqua. View selected color range off. Select our aqua. View selected color range on. And saturation range. And here we go again. I think we need to move the top handle more into the greens to match it up. Bit by bit, up we go. It does seem to go quite far into the greens on Lightroom. This is actually quite a tricky one to judge, but I think around there. Maybe even increase the smoothness so we've got more spread. And then the handle for the blues wants to move up just a tad, about there. And I think we have it. That looks like a pretty good match. So, time for blue. Saturation down on aqua, saturation up on blue, view selected colour range off, select blue, just about there I think, saturation range button, view selected colour range on, and we definitely have to move the cyan side up a little bit, the blue goes into the cyan on Lightroom quite a bit. Okay then, slide it clockwise, round we go, quite a bit. I think about there and then on the magenta side we're nearly there maybe just a little bit too much magenta let's just have a quick look at moving it back a bit that looks fine I think that's pretty accurate so that's our blue so down with the saturation up with the purple few selected color range off select purple which is there so select it and saturation range and let's take a look 
view selected color range on so it seems to go into the cyan quite a bit there and also the magentas but i think we need to rotate the slice around just a little bit there we go okay we need to move into the magentas over here and towards the cyans over here and i think around here is about right yep that seems roughly correct so down with the purple and at last up with the magenta and if you select a color range off then select the magenta here maximum range view select a color range on and bring the top handle to i think about there and bring the bottom handle up quite a bit i think about there that's pretty close but just one more little tweak i think that'll do i think that's pretty close and there we have it and here we go if we just select our colors one by one we've actually done it we've simulated the hsl panel from lightroom and i think that's a pretty good simulation with a little more time you could be more accurate we have the color selection from lightroom and now the last thing to do in capture one let's just um full screen it is to save this as a preset click preset and save user preset color editor advanced click save and then name your preset i'll just call mine hsl that'll do i think i'll just call it hsl now just hit save and we're done we have a preset so let's have a quick look at using the preset Control b for the library panel and then select another image go to our presets and select hsl make sure view selected color range is off and now we can use our new lightroom style hsl preset to change the colors on our image we have here in the advanced color tab all of the color adjustments from the lightroom hsl tab so let's select red and change the hue there doesn't seem to be much in the way of red so let's select the orange instead and change the hue there we go more towards the red and then the green okay what have we got i think greens let's select greens and make them lighter well that's horrible and dark is horrible too so let's change the hue there we go more towards the yellows anyway i think you get the idea now we have all the colors and all the controls including the hue saturation and lightness controls that we do in lightroom and if you look in the description to this video on youtube you will find a nice link to the preset which you can download so you don't have to go through all of this bother yourself and also you'll find a link to a video which will show you how to install the preset. Anyway, have fun playing with colour.